China has no interest in being a liberal state and prefers to be an authoritarian state. Or if someone wants to create a fascist state, why should we care? According to liberalism, you're not supposed to be able to say that liberalism is better than fascism or authoritarianism or communism. Take your choice. According to liberalism, right, people can't agree on first principles and therefore you want to give people plenty of room to live their life the way they see fit. Well, why doesn't the same argument apply to states? Why aren't we more tolerant? There's no tolerance there. Remember that Michael Doyle quote I put on the screen yesterday when Michael Doyle basically says any non-liberal or illiberal state is at war with its people. Whew, you know, if you believe that and you're off to the races, right? But again, there's a particularist strand as well as a universalist strand. But what's clear is that the universalist strand wins out. And the question is, why is that the case? And I'm not 100% sure but it's probably because liberals tend to believe that they have discovered at least one important truth. They're basically violating their core precept that you can't reach agreement on first principles. Liberals are basically saying that liberal democracy is the best political order and there is no acceptable alternative. But you're not supposed to be able to say that. But that's certainly the way they act. So all of this is to say, I think if you look carefully at liberalism, one could argue that really it should lead to a policy of restraint, a modus vivendi type foreign policy. But of course it doesn't. OK. Restraint. What's restraint? I'm putting forward the argument that the United States should adopt a policy of foreign policy of restraint. First of all, it's a realist foreign policy. And one of the really difficult tasks that I face in giving this presentation and writing this book is that most Americans hate realism and they love liberalism. And anyone like me who comes along and says, we should adopt a realist foreign policy and abandon a liberal foreign policy really has a tough sell in front of him or her. 